Hi, my name is Lindsay from InfoSpark. This is a quick demonstration of our Outlook calendar uh, connector for Smartsheet. Uh, what you can see here is a, a Smartsheet where a bunch of bookings are being set up and we need this information to go into Outlook. Um, for this demonstration, I've also got uh, an Outlook calendar to show you what's going on. We'll be putting a meeting in on this Thursday morning. So we're going to choose who's going to get it. It'll be me. Um, I'm just going to give it a test name. I'm going to say this is uh, the location is the demo suite. Uh, we'll put in this Thursday and we'll put it in from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. We'll say that's booked and I'm going to say this is a demo any information can go here and I'll show you where that information pops up in Outlook so we'll save that and then we'll head over to Outlook and we'll just wait the few seconds it takes for the calendar entry to pop up and you can see that was quite quick so uh, what's happening behind the scenes is our Outlook Calendar Connector is monitoring that sheet in Smartsheet and as soon as it sees that there is a completed uh, record there where we can see a date and time and who it should go to, it's immediately putting that into Outlook um, Calendar for you. So you can see there's that location that I'd put in and the name that I'd put in and that demonstration text that I'd put in there uh, just shows up here in the, in the description for the invite. So that's the the most common and easy to um, uh, easy to see demonstration of how this connector works, but it can actually work in multiple other ways. So, for example, we can take all of the bookings, um, all of the invites and events that are in someone's calendar, whether or not they were created by Smartsheet or not, and we can flow that information back into Smartsheet. So you can see here, we can have this list of all of the invites for uh, either an individual person or a group of people or the entire organization. So we can bring all of this information uh, from Outlook into Smartsheet. And that's quite helpful for reporting uh, or to confirm what uh, meetings someone has planned. Uh, some of our customers actually use that for their timekeeping. So they're able to bring all of that information in and understand how people are spending their time. Um, and so that's separate to uh, what we showed at the start, which was information from Smartsheet going into the Outlook calendar. And so our customers can have either or or both of those modes of which way the data flows. Uh, it's and it's it's as simple as that. Works with any number of events, any number of uh, accounts in the organisation. Uh, the calendar invite itself can be set up to come from uh, whoever you need, so that like who actually made the invitation, and uh, all of this information that you can, all of this information that you can normally see. Uh, can be edited. So the times, the, t the types of um, meetings, repeated meetings are supported um, and any, any information can go in here uh, and that can be based on other Smartsheet data. So say it was a project meeting and you wanted some information about the project to go into, the, the, into this description, that can be done automatically as well. Uh, we, it supports a one-way sync, so the, the information just can come from Smartsheet into Outlook Calendar and that's that. But we also offer a two-way sync where if the person uh, schedules the meeting to happen at a different time, uh, that that would be supported as well. So uh, let me just change the time. So if I said, okay, that's actually going to need three and a half hours for that. I'm actually going to start half an hour later and we're not going to have it in the demo suite. We're going to have it at a cafe, then that those updates can be uh, pushed back into Smartsheet. And that's an optional thing. So in some use cases, that's exactly what you want. And in other cases, uh, you, you don't want 
uh, that to be pushed back into Smartsheet and that's all configurable.